Buenos dias, Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Like a mother, like a motherfucking smack at it. Orale, as you can tell by that thumbnail, huh? you know you done did it, right? On Paru, you done did it, man. And I got the tapes. Right here, what we're talking about, as you can tell by that thumbnail, and I'm in noodle style in direct fashion, is high desert, homes. California's hell. Simon, hell on earth. Bato, this is the real deal, holy field. Now, let me tell you about high desert. Sit down here. Let me give you some knowledge that you're definitely not going to get in Hill College. Um, let me write some of this graffiti on the bus. Sounds good. Don't tell me porque I'm not trying to go back. I hope I don't go back to slang and yeah, yo. Allegedly. Anyways, now trip out. Um, high desert prison. It opened its gates in 1995. Um, 1995 is when the story began. That's when the history of high desert... The most ruthless, most vile, most treacherous prison in California history. Okay, so in Siberia, you have the crazy ass fucking jail over there. In El Salvador, you have one over there. In Arabia, they whip you on canes and beat you up with camels, right? China, we ain't even gonna speak on that. So that's about those over there missing fingers. But when it comes to California, the most vile and vicious place you could be is High Desert State Prison. A level four located in Lassen County, in Susanville, it's fucking ugly out there. I mean, I don't even want to speak on it, right? I have been to Susanville Prison, um, located directly across the street from High Desert, Sasuke, and I could hear alarms going off constantly in High Desert. It was a daily occurrence, Sasuke. It wasn't no fire drill. Vatos were getting drilled. To what, hey, to what extent of getting drills, I, I couldn't call it, but I knew there was a lot of motherfuckers leaking over there in high desert. People would come from the high desert oil and they would transpack to Susansville once they would hit their three, get their three points or whatever the case may be, or they'd be on some ad seg overflow type shit, um, waiting to be moved. And so I was okay, were coming with no eyes. Vatos were coming with pieces of their nose missing. So I was okay, it looked like Tyson had him in the cell and he had it his way. Going on that Vato fucking Lani, whatever, when he beat the shit out of him. This is how bad it was in high desert. People were coming up short. Now, I know when you talk to a lot of people, man, they hear Pelican Bay. They're like, ooh, Pelican Bay. Hey, and I ain't taking nothing away from Pelican Bay State Prison. Pelican Bay is a ruthless place. Of course, it's well known because of the shoe. You know, the shoe was headquarters to a lot of the top brass of the organizations. This is where they housed uh, the who's who of California prison, of the California prison system. Of course, you had Gorko, you had Tatch P, you had several other shoes, but Pelican Bay was known to be the super max, basically. You were locked away, so it was hard to get anything. You're over there in Crescent City, on the border of Oregon and California, you have nada coming. It was hard to get mail, so I was gave out the food was fucking, uh, <laughs> was that, is that what you call it? Food? Because there was, there was nothing, uh, you had nothing coming. Okay, this is where they housed people for decades slammed back in the shoe in indeterminate programs um this is where the hardship really began but this is how it is okay when you're doing whole time or you're doing shoe time it's in a redundant thing it's just been over and over repeat cycle you know what i mean of course um you ain't got a lot coming and that that fucks up the psyche of a man but i think what fucks the psyche of a man up even worse is going to a place as dangerous as high desert Okay, since them gates opened in 1995, it houses 2,250 inmates. They put the worst of the worst in high desert. Savsky, you knew that if you were transpacking, they told you, in committed, you're going to high desert? Buckle up, homes. Savsky, I'm putting my zipper on porque I'm going to high desert. What over there? Huh. You're going to need it. Hey, safety first, right? They're not playing in high desert. A lot of miserable people. When you get sent to high desert, and it's so far out in the desert, so far located out there, Susanville was a little bit different. It was a three-yard. You could wiggle a little bit. So let's get to what degree of wiggle. It was not a great degree, but you could wiggle, right? High desert, there is no wiggleization. Okay? High desert level four yards, um, they were that. They were actual and factual, hardcore level four yards. And everybody that went there, this stigma stuck. Okay? They had to perform because they were in high desert. You got to understand, when people go a certain place, um, they go by the reputation and the history of that place. If that place is a soft yard and ain't shit cracking there, so it's okay, I go, come fuck that, eh? I'm going to go in there and just kick it. So they've been kicking it for 20, 28, 29 years. <laughs> shit, two more ain't going to hurt them, right? This is how it is. 
But when you're going to a place as dangerous and the reputation of high desert, everyone's like, fuck that, let's get I gotta have my thing ready, porque I don't even know, you know what I mean? They're ready over there. Okay, now I know a lot of people say Pelican Bay, but if you ask anybody, and it's a trick, North, South, Africano brothers, my wood partners, the others, if you ask any different group faction, any different person who has been incarcerated right now, What's the most hardcore prison in California, the state of California? They're going to say, shit, it don't. Shh, high desert, right? And you expect them to say Pelican Bay because you watch, you see the, the big riot that happened there. You see movies, you hear people do documentaries. Um, but what they're mainly speaking on, don't, don't get it twisted. It cracked off on the linea there in Pelican Bay. Oh, several times. Oh, it was real. The wiggle was real. It was a miserable ass place as well. But at the same time, um, it's notoriously known because of the shoe program. So Vatos automatically assumed hey, that was the worst of the worst you can get. No, it was the elite of the elite. <clears throat> what you had in High Desert was leader. I mean, in Pelican Bay was leadership. That's what you had. And it was a tight ship ran on both parts by the organizations as well as the administration. So it wasn't no one getting, there was no wiggle room there. So I said, fish, mm, got your linea. So I said, no more shopping sprees. No more late night creed. You didn't have shit coming. Okay. High desert. Oh, you got a lot of shit coming. But it's in a sharp fashion, right? And so when these gates opened in 1995, I think uh, uh, the stigma was placed there more so by the staff, by the administration. Because they let people know when you got there, you ain't got fucking nada coming, homes. You're at the end of the Reading Ray Road. This is it, LeVar Burton. So I was kidding, you're here now. You're going to get cut, you're going to get meta flighted up out of here, or you're going to shut the fuck up, homes, and try to blend in the best you can. But let me tell you, Vatos ain't letting you blend in on 184 yards. Mm -mm. That ain't going to happen. Every soldado will be accounted for, plain and simple and period. And when you're in a place like High Desert, that's as dangerous as they, there ever was, right? Um, You better man up, homes. You better let your wall ass hang to your ankles. You better do what you does, cuz, because at the end of the day, on Paru, <clears throat> anybody can get it. Anybody can get it in high desert. Now, the reason I call it hell on earth is because it's the last place anybody wants to go. Okay, when you're incarcerated, I remember. So I'm going to tell you from personal experience. I get to Tracy, reception, it's lax, Tom's, it's all good in the hood. Of course, we're doing our Northano thing at that time. I was functioning. But you have to understand, I was in my backyard. Home's my reception. There was hella homeboys from Merced coming in and out. Homeboys from Modesto, Sacramento. You know, I'm seeing a lot of different homeboys. Stockton. <clears throat> hey, what's up, homie? <laughs> uh -huh. We're getting our wiggle on. Everything was good. The fucking building had fucking about 120 homeboys. It was just a lovely existence. It was a lovely thing. Of course, reception is boo-boo and bammer because you ain't got no good cantina. So I was scared. The clothing is fucking... The water was brown as brown can be. You know, it tasted like caca. There was a lot of hardships in Tracy, but... You knew you were up north, homes. You were home. Okay, you breathe. You smell that? Yes, yeah, smells like caca. Smells like a cow shit. Well, that's home for me. I'm from the Valle, right? Smells good to me. Yes, right? This was home. But when it came time to about, okay, you're going to about to transpack pretty soon. Everyone started to know, all right, you're going to be leaving pretty soon. You hear about this down the theater. Hey, bro. I ain't trying to go to high desert. Hey, fuck that. It's vicious over there. Without even being there, Without Valtos having even really knowing, but just hearing stories. That's how information gets passed down from prison to prison, place to place. Even to the guys. Through words of mouth. One's mouth. So I scared you out, eh? Let me tell you a story, little homie. What? You want to know where it fucking goes down at? Where, homes? Fucking Tracy? Charlie, homie. Maybe back in the 70s. Oh, fucking Pelican Bay, eh? They're fucking, they're down over there. Y'all see more? They're down, homes. High desert, is it? Straight up. I ain't never heard of high desert. Well, you don't want to go there. It's hell on earth in the state of California. It's as close to hell as you can get. Okay? The hardship is real. The struggle is real. Um, the killings, the maimings, the, the treacher treacherousness is real. Okay? And you have all group factions there. And you have a whole bunch of guys that are just desolate. Humps, they're desolate. So this guy ain't even trying to be here anymore, eh? Fuck, you know what? I'm going to stab my cellie a hundred times. Fuck it. Let's go. This is how it is. Um, they play a dangerous game, and it really ain't no game. Okay? They do it because the history. 
It's not because the next man's telling them to. You know, I get tired of that. Uh, Vato's falling off. And where you come from, homes? I came from high desert, eh? You know what I mean? Fuck, I couldn't take it no more, homes. I ain't going out like that. I ain't letting another man tell me what to do. Then the black was like, hey, you. Shut the fuck up and turn right. That way or that way? That way. Hold on. I thought you weren't going to let another man tell you what to do. I, I don't even consider that about the man, eh? You know what I mean? You know how I get down, eh? You know what I mean? And it's like Debo shit. You know, he tells me to turn right, turn right, homes. But then when he turns around, I turn left, that's it. Bang, bang, right? Nah, you turn right, puto, right? Uh, so all that, I ain't going to let another man dictate my program and tell me what to do. It ain't like that, man. In high desert, you will act accordingly. You will function accordingly. You will do that in all prisons in California, okay? But in high desert, seems just a little bit more dangerous. It's because that history. People play on that shit. You know, if the vato was a meal creek, he wouldn't even be tripping. So I was like, hey, hey, I'm going to Milk Creek. Yeah, I'm going to go eat ice cream and fucking go kick it on fucking Shug Night. Hey, it's going to be all good in the hood. You know what I mean? Nah, but then you're going to high desert. What, man? You're trying to go eat the nice stalker? Or no, the nice stalker's in Quentin. I think he died and shit, eh? Fuck you, eh? You know what I mean? Vatos ain't trying to go to high desert. For one, it's way in bumfucked Egypt, away from the familia, especially Vatos from the Sul, from down south, homes. It's hard for their familia. It's, it's very hard. You know, it's a fucking burden for the family to go visit them way up nowhere in bumfuck Egypt. Then at the same time, the program is always slammed down because someone's always getting hit. When you got a bunch of guys that are doing all day or a whole lot of time, man, and they have nothing to look forward to but getting off, guess what's going to happen? Yeah, they're going to get off, right? If for no other reason than enjoyment, something to do. And High Desert has... That stigma, it has that, that notoriety to be the place you don't want to go. Now, my little brother did time in, in, in High Desert. I remember I was spooked like a motherfucker for him. Damn, bro, I hope he, he was on B Yard. He was functioning at that time. God damn, I hope he's all right. So I was getting, I used to, he used to call, you know, the pad. I was out. Hey, how is it over there in High Desert, eh? He said, it's not, it's not nice. You know what I mean? He never told me the detail. Of course, he was acting. He couldn't tell me shit. But he never told me the details, but I could hear it in his voice. This is how he said it. It ain't nice. But this is like, it ain't fucking nice, fool. Right? This is, that was really the way I heard it. So could you hear it different than the way I heard it? Um, it wasn't nice. Nothing nice. Every person that hasn't even been there is saying high desert is the worst place. Now, why is that? Why is that you can have a vato from fucking Chiques or a vato from Santa Ruta or a vato from East Los or a vato from the Inland Empire or fucking uh, Indio, or Vata from San Diego National City, a Vata from Sacramento, from San Fran, from Tulare County, a Vata from Salas, and you sit down with them guys and you ask each and every one of them what's the worst prison in California, they all say high desert. And half the Vatas ain't even been there. It's because stories, right? It's because stories get told about stabbing after stabbing, hit, pegada after pegada, removals, murders, things of that nature, right? And when you hear it over and over again, it's, it must be right. Because Vatos are telling it from every different angle. They're like, fuck that. I ain't trying to ever go there. That's as close to hell as I'm ever going to get. No, you're going to get closer, puto. You just ain't died yet. Well, fuck it then. Let's go, eh? Right? Menudo. This is how it is in California. Now, every different state, I'm sure, has that one prison that's the most dangerous, that's fortified, that's fucking keeping people away. You know, in the feds, you have ADX. You know, and fucking, like I said, in China, they cut toenails and fingertips off. And then, of course, you have all these different countries. Now, the country, so I can't say, we ain't got shit on the other countries. The other countries, they'll put you in fucking dog cages and leave you there like if you were from Fresno. It's different, right? Um, we're nothing compared to these other countries and the harsh treatment they give their fucking convicts, their inmates. But at the same time, for us, in the state of California, um... This is a very dangerous place because you never know if you're going to come out the same as you went in. Meaning fucking, you might have, you might be pin cushioned in there. And that's just because you have a whole bunch of people that have nothing to look forward to. There's no programming. There's no none of that. Homes. What there is is, oh, you go mind someone today on Pau That's what there is in High Desert. You know, from what everything that I've been told. Now, um, the body count in High Desert is astronomical. Okay? Allegedly. You know, compared to other prisons, and you got to understand, you got a lot of prisons that have been around for a long time. Old Folsom, several bodies, San Quentin, Susanville. You know, you got prisons like Tracy, DVI, Gladiator School, 
You know, where people were getting hit in the 70s and the 80s, left, going right. So let's get, which way is left to right? I don't know. It's like, that's the cup. Remember he told you? This is how it is, right? Um, and they got a lot of deep history and a, a lot of wars that were fought. Well, shit, High Desert done caught up to them already. You know what I mean? I got fucking, you know, I'm surprised uh, Big U wasn't over there knocking fucking 42 vatos out. That's how serious it is over there. It goes down. They done caught up already. You know, since 1995 to the year 2022, shit, their body count has stacked. You know, I've told about vatos that I've met, man, in the oil. So this guy, a homeboy came from San Jose. That fucker Vato was missing an eye. I could have swore and traced you when I seen him. He had two of those bastards, right? What happened to your eye? Hey, so, so scary. We had a riot. And so Vato fucking dug it out of my eye with the spoon. Fuck, eh? That's how they get down. That's high desert, eh? So let's get somewhere I have two of them. You know what I mean? I'll be I Fuck, eh? Makina time. Bekwa. Orale ispo me. Right? We were getting it. Um, These guys become so accustomed to living in high desert and everything that it encompasses. Um, it's a trip to the average ordinary man and citizen. You can't even begin to imagine a place like that, a whole different world, a world where if you're not fucking on your P's and Q's and your T's are dotted, and fucking crossed, and your I's are dotted, then your I's will be dotted and shit will be slashed and crossed. That's how serious it is. And even the placas are a little bit more hardcore than other places from what I've heard. I ain't never been on high desert, so I'm not speaking from experience and I'm glad I fucking ain't. But I'm telling you guys the story because I've had fam family members that have been there and a lot of homeboys that have been there. And they told me, man, it ain't like you think, bro. Now, of course, some people have went in. Gonna, there's going to be people in the DM, so I was going, hey, it's all good, gun. I went to high desert. wasn't shit cracking off. Hey, were you guys on lockdown? See, one for three years. Why? Because they killed four people before I got there. Oh, shit. And that's why I wasn't cracking off. Orale. You know what I mean? Come on now. It's one of those places that every time it comes off lockdown, it goes right back on lockdown. Something's going to crack off. Like I said, man, these guys play a dangerous, dangerous fucking game over there, man. It doesn't mean they're cut from a different cloth than anyone else. Every other prison in the state of California wiggles to, oh, yes, they will wiggle. Prison is prison. But at the end of the day, high, high desert uh, just wiggles a little bit more than others. Or at least it looks that way. Now, I remember when I was younger and I was in the game, man, and I was fucking uh, pushing, pulling, and striving, and forever forward, Holmes. Pelican Bay was the place I wanted to go. So, I'm going to go to the Bay, Holmes. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to strive to the Bay, and I'm going to fuck it up, Holmes, and I'm going to handle my business. You know what I mean? Hey, I, I was listening to Mousy, Northside Soldier, so I was gay. I wanted to hit the Bay and get some clutch from the homies and do stuff for rolling, right? That's where I was trying to get. You know, homie would have told you, it's just another fucking life of a, a Northside Soldier. So, that's where I was on my way to. I thought... You know what I mean? And then I started hearing those stories about high desert and shit, right? The homies are like, fuck that, let's go to high desert. I said, no. Mm -mm. Fuck that, eh? You know what I mean? That's different. I said, I didn't sign up for that shit. Nah, you're a Nathaniel Stride. Push, pull, stride. I am. I'm going to push away from high desert, pull over here and stride towards this way. Hey, I was cool with that, man. And there was hey, and it, and no cap, and I ain't trying to fucking disrespect or nothing, but there was a lot of vocals that weren't trying to go to no motherfucking high desert. Ain't no one trying to go out there. So I and I ate full bracitos for the guys that are there because I already know, man. Imagine waking up every morning, every morning in a place where they will fucking murk you for the slightest infraction. So I mm, what, what the, hey, what the fuck's up with your bed, eh? So I what? Your mattress ain't real tiny enough. So I say, ah, oh, you know what I mean? This is just one time for your mind. Bang, bang. Who's that? That Bob Wilson, remember that degenerate gunner he said it? Bang, bang. There you go. Bang, bang. Now you're in the oil, you're no good. What happens? Like, I don't know. I was in high desert. Oh, that 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 answers everything. Yes, straight up. Anyways, I kind of wanted to put that story out there about high desert. Let everyone know, man, high desert is the most dangerous prison in the state of California, of course. I know a lot of guys are going to refute it. They've been a lot of different places, and maybe it was cracking off where they were at. Um, but at the end of the day, man, you can ask any old school convict, anybody that's been around the block, and they'll all tell you, man, from top to bottom, man, high desert is the one. Doesn't matter what yard that you go to in high desert, they all fucking function and they're active. You already know what it is. Anyways, with that being said, man, I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. I hope that you move fast with a purpose. I hope that you wiggle while you work. Go out there and work for your familia, man, and stay the fuck away from high desert or anything that's high or anything that looks like a desert. Because some of guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna be thirsty and you're gonna be high. Anyways, let's get on down the yellow brick road and let's make shit happen. This is the gun. You can hit that like and subscribe. If you like this, thumbs up. If not, you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I truly believe in. And that's the uniting of the gente, man. Let's get it. Bang, bang. Menudo style.